SmartList to export solutions. In addition to the standard features you have within SmartList of being able to export directly to an Excel spreadsheet, what you can actually do is you can export to a specific file, whether that be Excel or Word, and have tasks run when that file opens. So for argument's sake, if you wanted to add macros into an Excel file after the SmartList exports, you can actually set that to automatically run when you export from SmartList. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a list of payables transactions uh, and export them to Excel, put a subtotal on uh, into a saved location. So I have a smart list set up called monthly transactions. And what this shows is a list of all the invoices that have gone through my particular company for this month. So I'm going to export that to Excel and I'm going to save it on my desktop as a macro enabled workbook. called monthly payables transactions. Okay, so what I can do now that saves is I can actually record some macros. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to record a macro that puts some subtotals in. So I record macro and I'm going to call this a subtotal. And very, very simply, I'm just going to just put a standard Excel subtotal on where each change in vendor sums the outstanding amount. Simple as that. And that's my one macro recorded. And then what I also want to do is before it exports this particular file, I want to clear down the information that I've already got in there. So I'm going to record another macro which actually clears the information. And I'm just going to call this clear. There we go, so that's my two macros recorded. So I'm just going to save that file and close it. Okay, so within GP, I've got my smart list. If I go smart list and export solutions, I'm going to call this outstanding monthly invoices. Okay, so when I export it, where would I like to export it to? Well, I want to export it to... that file. Now I've got a preparation macro, so that will run before it exports the data. So obviously what I wanted to do is I wanted to run the clear macro to clear anything that's already in the file. Completion macro is that will be once the data is exported, which macro you want it to run. So that's also going to be my subtotal. So it's visible to everyone, or I can do specific users, and that's Excel. So what I now need to do is find the smartest favorite I have, and that's obviously under payables transactions. And I'm just going to mark it and click Save. Once it's saved, you'll see it appears in there. Okay, right, so now I'm going to close Smart List and then open up my report again. What you'll see now is next to my Excel button, I have a little drop down, so which I can click on that. I can either do a quick export, which just dumps it into Excel, as standard Smart List does, or I can export it to my specific file. So if I click on that, see what it's done? It's automatically run those two macros for me and put my subtotals in. So I'm just going to close that, and I'm going to close Smart List, and let's say I want to run it for last month, so change my system date back to last month, run my report again, you see I have a different range of data, and once again I can still export to the same file location. And it does my subtotals for those. So it's a very, very simple way of exporting data and adding any specific columns, calculations, subtotals that you would like to save you having to do it each time you do a smart list.